on July the 4th, we're going to be reading the Declaration of Independence. I don't know if any of you are waiting around for Dr. Fauci or Dr. Cullen or Chuck Huckleberry to tell you whether or not you're Americans and you're free. But if you, like me, think that that is completely unacceptable... How you doing, folks? Chris Haskell here. Welcome back to my channel. And um, we haven't done too many stories for quite a while, but uh, you'll see what's going on now. We uh, decided to do a story about the school districts, basically about the freedom, getting our kids back to uh, some normality and not going to school with masks on. Well, so Vail School District <clears throat> just had a meeting and they ended up canceling it because so many people showed up and these people, a good lot of them, or, or you know, not all of them, but a good lot of them were anti-mask people, normal people that don't want their children uh, wearing an insane mask, which they, they should. An anti-mask protest tonight at Vail District Headquarters. Angry parents yelling they want their voices to be heard, with some pushing their way into the boardroom. That board okay, meeting so, canceled. Uh, they canceled the meeting, and then what I did is I, I was planning on seeing something the next day because they had a Tank of Verde School District. They had a uh, meeting, and so I showed up, and... Basically, they canceled that one, too, because the sheriff suggested to the board meeting that uh, due to the violence and craziness that was going on, they should, for their safety, they should cancel it. And they did. So, anyway, this is uh, us talking to a few people at the parking lot, Tank of Verde School District. Check it out. Then I'm inviting you right now to go to pmlp.org, sign up to get on our newsletter, and we will let you know where we are going to be the night before, so we can all show up in person as free Americans and let people know that we believe, we believe in this American dream, and we're living it. So with that, I'm going to uh, sign off and uh, let you know that we're here. And we're standing up for what's right, and we're going to continue to do that. So, peace. <laughs> I have a couple questions. What was your name again, sir? Dan. Dan? Okay, Aaron Ray. Hi, Aaron. Tucson, do you any response to you? Um, when you were at the meeting last night, and the sheriffs came out and mentioned uh, trespass, and, and, and the, board, the board members were uh, going backstage or whatever it is they did, was anybody charged with assault? No. How about threats and intimidation? How about uh, disorderly conduct involving profanity? No, no, none so there was no crimes committed? <laughs> no crimes, absolutely. Well, do you think it's a crime that they false report under ARS 13-2407.1, uh, which is false reporting to a law enforcement agency? Yes. Do you think there was more than one of the board members that made that report? Oh, I'm sure, yes. Would yeah. you believe that there's a conspiracy involved between the board members to kind of stack the deck against you all people? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I see. Uh, well, it's, it's, yeah, just like here. I mean, they, they claimed we were going to be violent and called to me. And what were their grounds for the Violence. violence from uh, last night. Uh, accusations from last yeah. night where there wasn't any? Yeah, there were not. They were, in, they were talking with the sheriffs, and the sheriffs were advising them of what happened at Vail, and evidently they took that as violence and canceled the meeting. The sheriffs were advising them here? They, they were talking to one of the sheriffs here, and that's one of, it's in their email. I was trying to pull it up, and I couldn't pop it up, of why they uh, they canceled. It was they were working with the sheriff, and the sheriff was briefing them on what happened last night. So, yeah, that could be that they're given some false information. Could, could it be that the sheriff might have also gave some uh, legal advice, since yeah, there was <laughs> nothing to advise on? <laughs> Is it possible? Uh, anything's mm -hmm. possible at this point. <laughs> right. Um, what's your personal take on the mask issue? Is it a freedom issue for you? Oh, or absolutely. Is it, is it up to everybody, each their own? Or? It's, it's, everybody should decide on their own, but it should not be mandated, period. Correct. Um, you know that some, uh, some uh, countries uh, have religious beliefs where they want their women to wear masks and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Right? Are, are, do you know what the uh, uh, Constitution in Arizona mandates about uh, religious sentiment? No. Well, it says perfect tolerance of religious sentiment shall be secured to each inhabitant of this state. 
<laughs> and no inhabitant shall be molested in person or property on account of mode of religious worship or lack of the same. So if someone wants to have that belief, they can. That's up to them. Up to but them. if someone doesn't want to have that belief because they think their face should be exposed as they look up at God or look bow down, <laughs> then it's lack of the same. And it's a constitutional mandate. Now the sheriffs are getting involved and they, they take an oath to defend, protect, and maintain our constitutions. Yes. So this is happening everywhere across this once great nation. Oh, what, what, would, what would be your opinion on what we should do? We start constitutional clubs for our children to send them to school with no masks? Uh, you know, because clubs, that, that, that's like almost an association for a, a neighborhood. It gives power to the mass. And uh, if nothing else, if their lawsuits were, if lawsuits were won, you guys could all start your own school, like was just mentioned a few moments ago, yeah. from the uh, er, uh, winnings. <laughs> let alone make a case law, as per se, Mar Marbury versus Madison, which mandates that all laws that are repugnant to the Constitution are in fact null and void. <laughs> now, if you go further back into Shepard's citations, which talks about the case laws, you'll find that Marbury versus Madison has never, ever been turned over. And I like to use this word, uh, forgive me for those of you that don't, but that, that case law is Trump law. It's, it, it, it trumps all other laws, just like Marbury versus uh, Madison would trump other things of certain natures. And uh, a trump card could be played that would uh, and could, I should say, uh, benefit, uh, in, be beneficial in any kind of a lawsuit if it got to that point. Do you think that that's something that the people would consider? Uh, a club for the kids, let them stand on their well, own that's two toes. That's what Drew's talking about. I, I, I picked up on that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we certainly are talking about pulling our kids out of the district because they're not listening to us. But what if they were suspended for violating uh, for, for violating school policy, which is in conflict with Arizona Constitution? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I mean, I can go on and on about this. Does, uh, what, do you, what, what was your name again? Was it Drew? My name's Drew, Drew Heaton. Do you have any comments on this issue happening here besides the ones you just made? Uh... <laughs> well, I think my concerns are is that we're living in a state of mob rule right now. Um, oh, wow. If we don't know that, then we're not paying attention. I hear a lot of people talk about uh, the constitutionality of things, which I agree with 100%. Um, but we're at a state in our society where um, we have lost our moral underpinnings of um, individual rights. The American um, morality of individual rights. And I believe that this has happened slowly, um, deliberately, over decades. I would even argue it's happened over a century of conditioning um, so that we now exist in the state of where we falsely believe ourselves free. And we are more enslaved than ever. So um, I believe that we are at a moral crisis in our community. And so despite what the law says, and like I said, I agree with you 100%, but we are morally bankrupt. That's the reason we are in this situation right now. So the only solution to that is for individuals to reclaim their individual morality so that um, protecting individual rights so that we can get to the point where en masse, en masse, um, we, are, we will regain that society. But until that happens, um, we're actually on track to lose um, freedoms. our freedoms. Yep. Do you believe that uh, fear mongering is the issue with uh, the masks? Absolutely. That's how this entire thing has been perpetuated is through fear. It's through fear. And a moment ago you just brought up uh, protecting our rights, uh, something of that nature. I don't mm -hmm. know if my verbiage is right. Do you know what the government's purpose is for the Arizona Constitution? I don't know what you're going to say, but I will tell you that uh, the purpose of government is to protect individual rights. Well, you hit the nail on the head, and I'm going to elaborate for those uh, watching right now that probably haven't read it. You sheriffs are going to be uh, put to a test probably here because I've done it to you all before. So, uh, Purpose of government, Arizona Constitution, all political power is inherent in the people. Yes. And the government derives their just powers from consent of the governed. That's all individuals. It's personal consent, not a mass. And are established to protect and maintain individual rights. What are established? governments to do what protect and maintain 
individual rights. Sheriff Richard Mack gets that question right every time. He'll, he'll never get it wrong. I've had sheriffs in here in Pima County tell me it has something to do with taxes. I'm like, or you're public, useless to me. Public safety. You're yeah. wasting my air. Get, get, get right. away. Go. No. Just, just go. <laughs> no. Government is force. And the only Foreign justified, people. the only uh, use of justified force is to protect individual rights. You know, and this is one of the reasons that, well, that I was drawn to the Libertarian Party um, is that if there's anybody can, that can stand up and say, I disagree with you, but I can live peaceably with you, it's the Libertarian. Um, I'm, I'm challenging more and more Libertarians to step up. I know we have over 4,000 who are on the books, and maybe you are like me. Um, you know, I call myself a reluctant activist. I say, and rightly so, I'm an introvert. You, it must be really bad if the introverts show up, you know, <laughs> um, because I felt compelled to this. Um, so I'm, I'm asking people to step out of their comfort zone and stand up and do what's right. And, and it's my responsibility as the, the Pima County Chair for the Libertarian Party to wake up specifically Libertarians. Um, I want you to step forward. Stop, you know, uh, we get criticized all the time for pontificating in dark corners of the library and arguing arguments. Um, that's not where you're going to find me. I, I am at most of the demonstrations. I work with people who are Republican, Democrat, Independent, anyone who's willing to work for freedom, that is our single issue. And um, I'm looking to unite us here in Pima County to rise up and reclaim our individual rights. Because the only thing that is holding these things in place and power is not the law, it's a belief system. It's your belief system. So. Um, I don't believe the, uh, our salvation is in the law. It's in us claiming, um, rec reclaiming our morality and that American tradition, which is truly an American original tradition of individual rights, that our rights are derived from our creator. And you know what? Even if you're an atheist, you recognize that whatever force created you is where your rights are derived from not from government. So this is where, you know, I can be Christian, pro, pro-life, and I can have another libertarian friend who's going to say, well, I'm atheistic and I believe, you know, differently than you, even to the point of, uh, of be, their, them being pro-abortion. But we can agree that the government doesn't belong in this conversation. And actually, a lot of things resolve themselves when we remove uh, the government. So... Again, I'll just say that, you know, if there's anybody that can stand up and say, I disagree with you, but I can live peaceably with you, it's the Libertarian. And that's what I'm doing is calling out Libertarians and anyone else in this, in this county. You don't have to sign your name on the dotted line like I did, um, but come work with me for freedom here in uh, Pima County. Amen. <laughs> there you go. Amen. That sounds good. Was there a lot of people here today? Even before they announced that it was done? No, actually, we uh, we got the message and only a handful of people showed up. I'm not sure. What message did you get? I got a message from my friend who's in this district, has children here in this district, that the meeting was called off. And that was even an indirect message. He, as a parent, did not receive an email. It was someone else who worked in the district who got that. Um, you know... There was a word conspiracy brought up, you know, is there a conspiracy to, to keep Mr. Juan out? I don't know, it's possible, but you know, they did know he was coming and yet he wasn't given any information as a parent in the district that this meeting was called off. But somehow a whole bunch of other people got it, but yeah. they knew he was gonna stand and give his testimony. So I don't know, what do you call that? <laughs> Hard to say. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Tyranny? Yeah. <laughs> Tyranny. I, I, right. I watched the news last night, and uh, my friend had called me and said, you know, did you, oh, do you know about that thing? I said, yeah, and they, they put it as, they totally they made it look like, oh, there was these crazy parents that were there yeah. creating a problem. Oh, and God. and I even in the news report, I did not see anything that looked 
in any way bad. You wake up and, and sit down and relax because when they're going to talk about our kids, we're going to be there. Mm -hmm. They want parents to be involved, or at least they did. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, oh, yeah, well, uh, it's off. This is too much. That's what they said. I, I, I believe the quote from the news was, it was too much. They said, in quote, it just got to be too much. So what? What, what was, was too, too much? much? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. What what was too much? Yeah. Um, yeah. There has been an excuse made um, that I, I just see it as an excuse that there's this civility. Um, everything needs to be so civil. Yeah. And I'm not again. I'm not for being uncivil, but uh, they are using that as an excuse to disregard people's individual and parental rights. I think that's disrespectful. I find it cowardly. Absolutely. Pertaining to the meeting last night, when uh, they closed the doors, went behind the curtains, and that, that me there was supposed to be a meeting co uh, called to, uh, uh, started, it was uh, a public meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and since uh, there was nobody charged with crimes, uh, do you think uh, there might have been a constitutional tort deprivation for, say, uh, the right of the people to peacefully assemble? Question mark. Uh, I think so. Uh, it's it's uh, they they claim we were violent, which we weren't, and they said we're canceling the meeting. They said, "Wait, it's a public meeting. We're here to be at the public meeting." So that's where we were left. If this went to some kind of litigation, uh, noting that the the, the students uh, would need a new school if they were withdrawn or suspended for exercising any of their constitutional rights. Would you call it even if they gave you the school and y'all parents could take over? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they certainly last night tried to take over. I mean, they, they had indication that the board resigned and they actually had elections there for people in the district to take over. Hmm. Which they, they did, and I don't know how, I, I'm, I'm not a person that understands that stuff very well. well it looked like job abandonment to me. <laughs> it looked like job abandonment to me, and so they stepped in and took the job. And uh, they actually said no more people. masks and no more vaccines, uh, open the schools up. And, uh, but then the, I heard that the board didn't resign, they were just in the back room hiding. But they certainly didn't hold the meeting. Chair for the Pima County Libertarian Party. Excellent. So, thank you. Oh, it's good to see someone doing it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's lonely out there sometimes, huh? Yes, you know, okay, maybe that's the, the thing I'll leave on a good note. Um, at, with all the terrible stuff that's going on in the world today, the great thing is it's never been a better time to meet your people. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that despite the fact that I've lost friends, family members who we cannot associate any longer, what I've gained in the quantity and quality of friends in my life far outweighs anything that I've lost. So I think that's maybe the powerful message for those of you who are wondering should I stand up what what am i going to lose you're going to gain so much more um, by standing up yep. that's excellent preach it <laughs> very good all right well if you friend me on facebook um drew heaton d-r-u heaton you'll see my cowboy hat um public yeah then then we can message each other and I can get you in touch with some of these other community no, groups because so they're the it's not like they're secret but we're just a little more careful if that makes sense yeah yeah right. because obviously they found out yeah. yeah so DRU DRU sorry you can see full footage of um, the meeting last night. They're saying that we were violent. And yeah, we saw a lot of it, but... Did you right. see any so, violence? Oh, yeah, 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 no. that's me. So if you no. want to just uh, message... Yep, that's me. 
you can message me or friend me, and then I will get you in contact with some of these other groups um, that are, I guess, more on the ground. And I, it's just, I don't want to, I'm not going to say that I'm on camera right now, um, which is fine. It's just because it's to protect, you know, these community groups, families, people coming together to get through this, you know, really difficult time. So, yeah. So, so at the next board meeting, Kathy and I hopefully will speak, and if you guys know others that are like-minded, mm -hmm. especially with what you experience with your son, mm -hmm. uh, we're right on. I mean, we're right on that page. Yeah. So to support, we tried to gain some support here of the people we know in Canterbury District, and most people said not interested. So. Yeah, they're saying most of the people are from Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that too. You know, it doesn't matter if they come to support something. There would have been plenty of people. Correct. From the Phoenix. Community. They don't have the issues over there. Oh, no, those guys do. might believe in uh, uh, <laughs> peeing the deep end of the pool, and, and it doesn't affect the rest of it. Like so wear a mask. Thanks for sticking by. We'll yeah, be, absolutely. Yeah, we'll be ready for. Okay. I'm hoping that they will have one because what we've seen happen with some of these community meetings is that they just get pushed, pushed, pushed to be like on Zoom and then basically there's no accountability yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, we well, were... Well, they've been we, doing Zoom this whole time and then you can submit your questions and they even tell you they're, they they can select whatever questions they want. They have exactly, any of the questions. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. The three of us here, we've been speaking out at the Board of Supervisor meetings until basically they push us out. You know, and yes, they say something like, oh, we'll read your statement, but they, they went to such an extreme that we were left to only just holding signs that they could see through the window. They installed curtains so they didn't have they to see our see signs. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the, the state of um, representative government, which is totally not that. But I hope you have a happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, thanks for saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah appreciate it. Here. Yeah. All right. You soon have like. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have a safe. I'm so glad you have parents cool. who love you. <laughs> yeah, that's great to hear that that kind yeah. of sentiment. Well, that's a story right there. That, that makes talking. me so mad. Yeah. About her son. Oh my gosh. And that's the thing yeah. they're talking about. They're hiding. They're not talking about. It. It's they like, come have on. him in the in the in the nurse's office with him. He's got a mask yeah, on, right. and the guys I have breathing breathe. problems. Oh, Hello. Gosh. Yeah, well, what was the oxygen bottle? I mean, it sounds like malpractice to me. Sounds yeah. very much so like. Well, like nurse. I said, I think, like I said earlier, nurse. it's it's that we're morally bankrupt, and I would love to have a lawyer stand up and and help us litigate this. But so far, um, not really anybody has stepped forward. So I'm still working on it. I'm I'm not I'm, giving up hope.